guys and today I'm going to show you an unusual checkmate okay which I did recently okay against my opponent now I'm playing with the black pieces my opponent is playing with the white pieces This is a strange manoeuvre I've been practising of trying to swap the um, queen and the king over just to really confuse my opponent thinking why are they doing that and to try to play it in a very unusual way. None of this is particularly good play, it was done just to be different for no real reason. There's nothing clever at this time. Okay, just a minute. Um, Bishop exchange. I'm now going to try and do a forking check in a moment. They've taken one of my pawns. I don't understand why. Oh yes, that's so that um, basically. I lose a knight, but gain a bishop. Now, this is where it's going to get rather interesting at this point. They move out their queen out of, sorry, their king out of the way. I move my queen up. Check. I then take the um, rook, so I go back a bit, that was a forking check, um, which meant I could take the rook off, and they couldn't really do very much about it. The best they could have done, I suppose, to get out of it would have been a queen exchange. to move their queen in front of my queen and in front of their king as well so that it would threaten a queen exchange they didn't they moved their king and lost their rook instead maybe they wanted to keep their queen I don't know but anyway now this is where it gets very 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 interesting at this point and I'm going to so much so, I'm going to go back and show you that again. At this point, they move their pawn forward. One space to threaten my knight. I'm going to absolutely astonish you. For the rest of the game, the knight is not taken off. The knight does not even move. And... My opponent doesn't resign. You might think, how is this possible? Is it because they just don't take my knight? Because they want, they just don't notice they can take my knight? No. Because of the moves they make, they don't really have the opportunity even to take my knight. And I will show you the surprising and perhaps unlikely moves that now occur. I move the queen up. Check. They move their knight in front. I then move my queen check feeling probably pinned in they move their king out of the way I then move my rock 
check. For some reason, they now move here. I now move my king, my queen, um, along to threaten the king. The king cannot move. They move their knight in front of my queen to protect the king. It now looks as if my um, knight is going to disappear very soon. But as I told you earlier, the knight is never taken off and it never moves. Given that they cannot at this moment in time move the knight, they cannot take um, at the moment my knight with this knight anyway, and um, but they could in theory um, take my knight with this pawn on a future move, in theory. Or can they? Let's look at the next move. The next move will probably astonish you. Checkmate. Did you spot it? Let's go back. Did you spot a checkmate there? Now you probably wonder, how is that checkmate, if you haven't noticed? Well, the reason it's checkmate is because the king cannot move there or there because of the rook. The king cannot move there because of... the queen and the king cannot take off the rook because of this knight so if we go back and move that doesn't look like an obvious immediate checkmate does it you know it wouldn't look like you could get a checkmate in one move straight away But yes, there was mate in one. Simply by moving the rook to a position that you wouldn't have thought was checkmate if you hadn't been looking very, very carefully. I'm also going to try something else. I'm oh, that wasn't what I wanted to. Sorry, that was mouse trouble. Well, oh, track ball. That is also checkmate. So I could also have done it. That is how I actually did it. But I could instead have simply moved it to bishop there. And that's checkmate as well. For the simple reason, this knight cannot move because um, it's being pinned by the queen. And the king can't move there because of the queen and the bishop. And... 
The king can't take the knight because of the pawn. And the king cannot move here because of the rook. So I happen to move the rook, but I could instead have moved the bishop. Moving the bishop may have been more of a shock to them because it would perhaps have been less obvious and also it's winning the game with a lower value piece than a rook. But nonetheless, two ways of getting checkmate when it, it, it looked as if my knight was in trouble and they didn't realise that... Um, they're about to lose the game, okay? So be very careful what you do. Do not underestimate things like a knight here. And as I said, even though that knight looked extremely vulnerable and looked as if it wasn't worth um, worrying about because it looked like it was about to get taken off at any moment. By doing what I did, it became part of the checkmate. As I said, I could have, if I'd have moved, as I said, the bishop, I don't need the knight to protect anything. The only reason why the knight is here now, in fact, I could even have lost the knight. And I could probably... Um, still have won. I'm going to try something, see what would happen if I had. Right. Let's suppose instead I didn't notice I did a really stupid move like this. And then take my knight off. Again, still checkmate. I could still have got checkmate with the bishop, even if they had taken off the knight. So if I had done something stupid, was there a way out for them? I'm not even sure if there's anything they could really have done. Because it said at the moment the king cannot move, the um, knight cannot move. And Moving pawns is not going to help anything. And no matter what, where I move the queen, it's not going to prevent the lethal movement there. So. I think they, no matter what happens, I don't think they can stop it. Even if I did a really silly move, they cannot stop it. Because that knight is trapped on this side of the board, it doesn't matter what happens. Even if I did something like that just to threaten my knight, they still do. That. And it's checkmate.
There is nothing they can do to stop it. So there you go, guys. Be very careful because sometimes even if a piece is all the way at the bottom, even if it doesn't look threatening in any way, like this particular rook might look lethal, but this bishop looked like it was absolutely harmless, but could be potentially lethal. And this rook, um, you wouldn't have expected to suddenly move up here. So, there you go. Always be careful. As I said, that is an unusual, in my view, checkmate. I mean, I'm sure if, you know, you want to look at, you know, world championships and things like that, it's probably not that obscure. There's probably some really weird stuff with world championships, in world championships. But, you know, for me personally, um, I felt that was an unusual checkmate, okay? By my standards. Thanks for watching. Bye.